Alright guys, today I got a 2013 Acura RDX and we're gonna be replacing these rear brake pads in here and uh, let me get my light and I'm gonna show you exactly what you're gonna do Alright, sorry about the lighting but uh, we're gonna be replacing these brake pads in here Alright, simple job, just follow my step guys and do it right and do it right the first time alright so let me get my tools and we're gonna begin this all right guys so to start off you're gonna need number 12 socket and a ratchet or a wrench you're gonna remove the bottom bolt right there guys right back of that caliper and simply get that bolt out put it somewhere safe do not lose it guys get a pry bar flathead screwdriver and all you're gonna do is you're gonna yank this caliper outward, all right? And you should be able to get this caliper out fairly easy, all right? Sometimes it's stuck because the brake pad, the brake pad in the back here, it goes into the caliper. It has like a little teeth on it. Usually over time, that will get stuck, no problem. So it has like a little clips that go into the caliper itself, right? So once you do that, you can slide this pin off just like that, right? All right, let me, what I'm gonna do is this brake pad is not gonna come out. It's a terrible system, all right? Push it right back in. So I'm gonna push this brake pad right back in there shouldn't have done that thinking it was gonna be easy all right so I gotta get this little guy back into his position because I'm gonna compress it all right while it's on it let me see if I could do it just like that because it's so long it won't let the brake pad come out all right I made a mess there that's all right don't make that mistake guys just play around with it see if you can get it back into the spot there you go just like that Compress this little guy, all right? Compress the piston so one job is out of the way. Use a tool, C clamp, or a compressed tool such as that, and compress this guy right in there, right? And now we should be able to get this brake pad out simply just like that. See, this is a little guy that was inside there, stuck to the caliper. Put your caliper somewhere safe, all right? Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove this brake pad, all right? And there's the brake pad I have. I'm gonna also remove this little guy and this little guy right here, right? This is the hardware kit. We probably is gonna have a new one. Don't throw it away yet, all right, guys? Next, what you need to do is, guys, clean the surface over here, all right? Clean the surface. There's a lot of buildup, rust and stuff. If you don't clean clean that, your brake pad's gonna be stuck in there, right? So clean this little guy. Clean it very good, all right? Use a file like me. If you wanna remove the bracket, it's up to you. But you shouldn't have to, guys. Just file it down. All that rust and corrosion gotta go from there, right? Also, if you want, Use a small brush, wire brush, just clean it off. All right, there I have it, guys. Next, what we're gonna do is, you're gonna pull out this little pin here. We had to clean this off and put grease on this little guy, so let me get a rag. All right. So, all you do is simply take a rag, clean this off, all right? A little bit of grease on this little guy, all right? You don't want to put too much either. And uh, too much. Let me get a little bit more. All right, there I have it, guys. That's just a perfect amount of grease. And we're going to do the same thing to the pin that's on the caliper right there. All right, so we're going to do the same thing to this pin. Just wipe it down. Use a clean cloth. You're gonna take this grease, put a little bit of grease on that pin. 
The reason why I say you don't want to put too much is because it will cause it to restrict in there. Because uh, use a good grease also, all right, guys? Don't use uh because this does heat up, all right? It needs good lube and it can't, it got to be a high temperature grease, all right? This grease I use is specially made for the, for that, for the brakes. All right, guys? Now I got to wait for the new brake pads and then we'll just continue, all right? All right, guys, I got my new hardware here, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this. All right, you should be able to push this in just like that. Make sure this piece does not hit the rotor. Like this one is not all the way in, it will scrape, all right? You hear that noise? So it will scrape, all right? And do the same thing for the top one. There you go. And then what I'm gonna do here is looking for my pry bar. You could take a flathead screwdriver or a pry bar and just push it back so it doesn't hit the water, guys. All right? There you go. Got this one pretty good. Do the same thing for this one. And there you go. All right? Something is touching. It might be this back place. All right, guys, I gotta move my camera out so I can go right in front of it and just look at what this noise is. Do turn it, there should be no noise, all right? All right, guys, so this is good. Nothing is touching, all right? It's just something inside is touching. Maybe there's, there's shoes in there, all right? So anyways, next, what we're gonna do is we have to install the brake pad, guys. Just wanna show you one thing. This brake pad should go in smoothly, all right? So if it doesn't go in smoothly, what you can do is use a file to grind the surface and the area right here because it's gonna be jammed up brake pad there. All right, so the next step is guys, um, next step is we're gonna push this brake pad into that caliper, but make sure, let's say this brake pad goes in like this, this sensor is down below because when you go in the reverse, it's gonna scrape against this, right? So you take this little guy, you push it into the caliper. It's gonna be a little tough, not easy. Don't have grease on your finger so you don't touch the brake pad and mess it up guys. So there I have it flush there. You're gonna take your caliper and the brakes. You're gonna stick in the sliding pin and you should be able to get this guy in there. This is the system I don't like about this these cars because I have the brake pad. Um, you know what guys, do this. Take off this also, all right forgot about that you know I've done these brakes so many times I forgot this thing had that mechanism in there and then you should be able to get this caliper in there straight all right so take out both bolts I'm sorry I should have had told you that before but watch my video complete before doing anything all right so now I should be able to get this little guy in there just like that all right guys there we have it Catch the threads. A lot of times you will have another piece with the hardware kit. This little guy, sometimes it doesn't come with your brakes. All right, you could order it separately, but this one looked pretty good. And doesn't need to be replaced. All right, and then we're gonna tighten both of these bolts. And that will be it, guys. And make sure you tor torque this bolt. I'm only gonna snug this bolt a little bit and then I'm gonna get my torque wrench, but you won't be able to see that, all right? And get the second one also. All right, and 
just tighten this bolt, snug it, and then do torque it, guys. And I'm gonna leave it there. And I will torque it, guys. But anyways, the job is done, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Just drive the car around. Right now, I had no scrapes or anything like that. So this is good. Job well done, all right, guys? Job well done, all right, guys?